Okay, so I can't help but notice that all over the internet there are people talking about how they want the midi cut, hairdressers don't know how to do it, whatever, whatever problems are coming up. So I thought I would make a tutorial on how to do it. Now, I would never really recommend cutting your own hair. Um, so I would definitely have a friend do it. That's why I'm going to be doing it on a mannequin, not on myself. But you'll need, you'll need a cutting comb, which looks like this. It's one of these little two ends. Cutting scissors. Just a little. And you'll need three clips. Okay, and I'll put links to the dial, to the um, diagrams that I'm following down in my box. Sorry, I've never, I've never done this before. Okay, so you're going to start it off by sectioning the front of the hair out. So the way you're going to do that, if you can see, is you're pretty much going to part from the middle of the head down to the ear. There's your ear. There it is. Okay. Make sure it's a nice, clean line. <laughs> Sorry, this is a really odd, odd, odd angle to do this at. Okay. Can you see? There's her ear. Yeah. Just clip that out of the way. Make sure all of, all of the hair is out of your way. And then... Same on this side, top of the head, down to the ear. Okay. Now we're going to start with the shape at the very bottom. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take about an inch of hair off the bottom. If that makes sense. So you're going to make a little section down here. It's about an inch. I think I have a little less, but an inch would be fine worth of hair. And then you're going to clip all of the rest up and completely out of the way. Okay. Okay, so the diagram I'm looking at is the MIDI plus, but you can do it, you can cut it this way with anything, just change your measurements. I'm not actually sure she's long enough for the... Okay, she's not actually long enough for the midi plus, but I'm just going to talk you through it anyway. Okay, so you're going to take a little piece of hair in the middle. So can you see what I did? I took this little piece of hair right in the middle with those two sides. So I took this little piece of hair right here in the middle, and there are these two sides. Okay. You're going to cut this little piece right down here to four and a half inches. So we're just going to say this is four and a half inches and just give it a snip. That's that. Now, over here on the end, you're going to cut this piece of hair over here to four inches. So it's going to be just a little bit shorter than this one, just half an inch, not much at all. You're going to do the same on this side. Okay. So that's, right now we have four and a half inches right here in the middle, four inches on the sides, and there are these little pieces in here that haven't been cut yet. 
So these in the middle haven't been cut yet. So what you're going to do is you're going to comb it all straight down. Once you have it all straight down, you're going to make a line. So if you see, four inch or four and a half inches is here, four inches is here, and there's just, we're just going to cut the rest of this hair on a diagonal to connect the line. We're going to do the same on the other side. I don't... Can you see if I bring it closer? There's the four and the four and a half. And you can see there's just this little bit. You're just going to chop that right off to connect them. Okay. You take the clip out and you're going to do another about inch long of hair and you're going to bring it down. Again, clip that up. You really want to make sure all this hair is out of the way or it'll get really confusing really fast. So just make sure all this hair is clipped up so nothing's nearby. Okay, now you're going to go back to your little part in the middle. This is where it gets a little tricky. I'm going to change the view. Okay, so you get back to your part in the middle and you're going to brush it straight out. This is why you clip all the hair back. So you're going to get this little part in the middle, and you're going to brush it straight out. Okay. And you should be able to see, right here is the hair I cut before, and right here is the hair that I haven't cut yet. So you're just going to cut that to match. Okay. I'm going to do it again, so you'll see it again. Then you're going to do it again on this little section over here in the middle. So straight out. You can see I cut right here. You're just going to cut right up to match. Okay. And then the same on this little side. Cut right up. Okay. And that's it. You're just going to keep doing that up and up and up and up. So, I mean, you do the other side too. I'm just not going to for showing sake. All right, so you're gonna take another inch section, brush it down. Okay, now this is what gets a little difficult, is the idea is that from the middle, it should be four inches everywhere on the head. So you have to go with the head. So right now, as I get here, her head isn't going to go straight up, okay? Her head is going to go out a little bit right here. She has a little bone. It has a curve, so we need to work with that curve. So you're going to pull it out, find our guide right here, and you're going to cut going out just a little bit because that's what her hair does. The idea is this part and this part should be the same length. Just give that a little cut. Come over here to your piece in the middle. Do the same thing. Your piece on the end. Do the same thing. Now I'm trying to do this quickly so you can get the general idea, but you'd want to, as you go, keep looking. Make sure you have a U-shape going on, which I do. It's much longer here than it is here. Make sure the U-shape is continuous. Make sure there are no long pieces hanging out. And say there are. If you see a piece that doesn't fit in, just go back, pull it out, and just go right in and cut it. Okay, so we're just going to keep doing this all the way. In the middle, 
And again, her head's still coming out, so it's still going to be angled slightly out. Middle. Side. And again. Middle. Side. And to be perfectly honest, if you don't do this perfectly, um, the, the cut is pretty much a mullet when it's not styled. So <laughs> if you don't do this perfectly, it's really not going to kill you. It's going to create a certain choppiness in it that's actually not going to look that bad and when it's curled isn't really going to be very noticeable. So try to do the best you can but don't don't beat yourself up over it or anything. And then once you get to the top, up here, where we've been kind of lifting it up. Oh, here we go. Once you get to the top, because this whole time we've been kind of lifting it out, you have to remember we're going with the head. So it's going to start to get lifted up. So up, cut, cut, cut. And up. This one's going to be all the way up. And cut, cut, cut. Okay? And if you want to have something maybe a little more wearable for day to day. When you get to the top, don't do this and then this. When you get up to the top, just keep lifting back the whole time. And it won't be, so just cut here and never go higher. And it won't be quite as mullety looking. It won't be as authentic, but you won't have a mullet. <laughs> So, kind of depending on what you want. I'm going all the way. Okay, so you can see, so as we start to get up, you go from the smallest piece you could find. So I'm gonna lift it up here, and right here is one of the smaller pieces. So we're gonna go off that. Then we're gonna lift it all the way up. And this, one of the smaller pieces is right here. Can you see that? Can you see what's going on? There's a kind of a small, and there's all this hair in my fingers. So we're gonna just chop off all that hair. Do it again on the side. And this is the side of a midi cut. So if you can see, there are pieces. <laughs> Some of the top pieces only fall to here where the hair goes all the way down to there. So it is, I know you can't see very well because I have a shitty camera, but it is, it is definitely a little mullety. But now we'll go on to the side. So for the side, you're gonna, the very, very top of the head. So right here, can you see that? Right here, the very top. Maybe you can see it better with my scissors. Right here. So kind of, right about where her, the eyebrow arches. Make a part there on both sides, but I'm only doing one side. So make a part there and leave the top alone. 